Hey there guys, I have another video for you, something completely different than unboxing and that lot. I'm going to be attempting to do my first video on a gig review because last weekend I was up Birmingham at a concert and it was absolutely incredible. Um, I got the, up in the morning and a friend mentioned about a band playing so they mentioned like weeks before and I'd already bought a ticket but I got up and it said trains were cancelled, all trains, so it was a replacement bus service which was a bit of a ball ache so um, luckily a good friend came with me and his partner gave us a lift to Wolverhampton in a car and then we got the train, hopped on the train from Wolverhampton to Birmingham grabbed some food and then went to see him I went to see Hickett and Throned with support from the Infernal Sea, Lost, Brethren and Master's Call which were awesome, this was at the Asylum in Birmingham the Asylum 2 which is a small one upstairs absolutely had a wicked time um, Master's Call, the death slash black metal from Wolverhampton as I've looked online bloody brilliant, I didn't get no merch because I um, don't really have didn't really have the funds to get any merch, I just had enough to get the gig get there and back and the travel and some food and stuff like that so it was absolutely awesome, Master's Call are brilliant not long ago I've just actually been on um, Bandcamp and I went and bought the debut EP with the patch which was something like 7 quid and then I think it was like 5 to 10 quid I bought the t-shirt a t-shirt of them which is awesome so I've got that to turn up then there was Lost Brethren Technical Death Metal from Peterborough couldn't really get into them just thought it was pretty bland and there wasn't really my cup of tea but um, the name I've added to the list of bands to check out so I will check them out studio to see what I think of them because I always give a band several listens and I give them a full chance to try and impress me but live they just didn't impress me for some reason then the next band was the Infernal Sea their black metal from the east of England it just says it doesn't say where it just says on Metal Encyclopedia east of England there wasn't too bad just not really my thing for some reason but they're another band I've added to the list so we'll be checking them out to actually see what I think of them and then the headlining band was Hicket and Throned or Hicket and Throned however you pronounce them Welsh Symphonic Black Metal incredible live I absolutely loved them that, that much because I've got one album which I had I'm um, not quite sure where I've put the album but I had um it turned I bought it was it December when I was up Chester last December and it was something like three quid so I thought I'd check them out enjoyed it thought I really needed to get their back catalogue for some reason I never managed to get their stuff and then after seeing them live I've straight on eBay and I bought like four albums and so many two EPs and something like that so I'd like five to turn up and I've got one more to turn up so which is awesome but then I realised the CD that I bought from Chester I bought it again but this one's the Gigi pack so the standard jewel case I've gifted it to a friend but hey getting thrown are absolutely incredible highly recommend giving them a listen the only downside about this gig is we got back on the train to Wolverhampton and then there was no trains back to Telford so there was a replacement bus slash coach service and it said nowhere on the app where the coach was departing from or anything like that so we spent like 20 minutes walking around train station asking people where the coach was there was nothing no clue of where it was eventually we found a woman who was cleaner there and we spoke to her and she said that it was up um, near Weatherspoon so we darted up there missed the coach by seconds which was a bit of a pain so we couldn't get back so we had to get a taxi back which was 50 quid between the two of us so say 25 pound each and it dropped us off at our doorstep which was a bit of a pain but had to pay also would have been stuck in Wolverhampton plus I had work the next day I didn't get to bed till like near and on one or half one so I was up at six so I had four and a half hours sleep and I was walking around work like a bloody zombie <laughs> I've done it before and I've had like three four hours sleeping and got up and done a eight hour shift when I cycled to work which was a bit of a pain but yeah it was absolutely awesome gig um I will be getting some Hecate in front t-shirt because I've got their CDs and I've been looking for a patch and stuff like that because I'll be doing a jacket on my extreme metal so yeah that was the Hecate in front gig this Friday coming I'm off to see Alia Tempore for the second time in 
at the Wolverhampton, in Wolverhampton at the Gifford Arms. That's the first time I've seen him was at the Gifford. And then there's um, Constructor Storm backing. The last time I've seen him was at Bloodstock Open Air, the last one. And I've seen him about four or five times. Absolutely fantastic. So cannot wait for that. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm up Nottingham for the next Power Symphonic meetup. So we'll be doing a video on my latest haul of the meetup. And then I'll be doing a video on my review for Alia Tempora control the storm and just mention about the gig and any mishaps and that lot but it's a bit of a pain when the day of the gig and all trains are cancelled and you have to get a coach back right pain in the arse but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell i'm just about to unbox a dozen of cds and a cassette and then i'll be posting up on my youtube channel for the upcoming weeks month for everybody to um watch so hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one so i will put a link in the description i will i'll actually put a link in the description for these bands if there is a youtube channel or facebook or their facebook or something i'll put a link in the description if any of these names these genres or something like pique your interest highly recommend them but hey getting from definitely master score definitely but the other two like i said not really my cup of tea but i will be giving them more of a listen to see if i can actually see what I think of um, the studio. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So take care, stay safe.